Welcome to another Vexcape VR Python tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to talk a bit about printing data to the console screen that you can find uh, in the monitor. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is get a um, new text project. So we're in Python mode. And let's get the monitor open. Um, and so we have this area here where we can print uh, text to the screen. It's useful for monitoring of the status of variables um, and for um, just printing various information throughout your program. Very useful for debugging and knowing where you are. Um, and there's there's a few uh, little um, tips and tricks I can give you uh, on how to use that. So I'm just going to start by getting rid of this um, uh, command here. So the basic command um, for printing something to the screen is um, brain dot print. So brain dot print, and then in brackets, uh, I can then put what I want to display on the console. And so in this case, I'm going to put uh, in quote marks because this is going to be a string. Vexcode VR. Um, so let's. Uh, it doesn't really matter which playground we're using for this because at the moment the robot's not going to be moving. Um, but this is the part we're interested in here. So when I run that um, it, to the console, it prints the code, uh, the text Vexcode VR. Um, now, if you want to, let's uh, just copy and paste that onto another line and see what happens. Now, if we clear the uh, output there and run it again, you can see that it's just printing it consecutively on the same line. So we might need to move uh, to a new line. And so to do that, we use the uh, brain dot new underscore line function. So let's say brain new underscore line, open and close bracket. Um, and so now if we clear, And run that again. You can see now we have the text on two lines. Um, okay, so another thing that might be uh, good to get in the habit of is clearing the uh, clearing the display before you start printing stuff to it, just to make sure it's already empty. Saves you having to click this button here manually. So let me just run that again. So we've already got some information on there. Now, if I run the code again, because the cursor is currently here, if I run that again. You can see now it prints the first command here and the second one here. And so what we can use is the brain dot clear command. And that will be the same as pressing this button here. So basically completely clear the text output. Um, so now if I run that, it clears it for me and then prints my two commands. Um, now the other thing we can do is we can uh, print in different colors to the screen. So um, let's say um, brain dot set underscore print underscore color. And the options we've got are the same as the pen. So black, blue, green, and red. So let's say we'll do the first bit in black. And then on the next line, we're gonna repeat that command there. But we're going to do blue and then let's copy and paste that whole chunk of code so we've got two more and we'll do red and green so we're going to clear the screen first and then we're going to print in black vexcode vr new line blue vexcode vr and you can see there we missed the new line so glad i was working through that another new line and then change it to red, another new line, change it to green and print the same thing. Um, so let's run that. Um, and here in the output there, so we've got our black, blue, red, and green. Now you can also um, start to uh, combine bits of information on the same uh, line. So let's say for example, um, I'm gonna leave my clear in uh, for the rest. Um, 
I'm going to comment these lines out. So um, the number symbol, see if I put a number symbol in front of a line uh, in Python, now this entire uh, line of code has gone green. That means it's commented out. This means it won't be uh, it won't be executed. The program will ignore that. Um, I just want to quickly show you that because it's a really useful thing for putting annotations in your code. So I could put something like um, first clear the display. I can type what um, type whatever I want after a number uh, after the number sign and make it a comment. It's really useful for putting um, comments in your code so that a you can remember what that part of your code was meant to do um, and it makes it easier to find things but also uh, if other people are looking at your code then it's easier for them to understand uh, what it is that you're trying to achieve with that particular bit of code. Um, okay so what we're going to do is um, uh, I'm going to print onto the screen so brain dot uh, print and I'm going to print some text first, so a label effectively. Um, and let's say uh, we will put something like um, distance equals. And then outside of the, so this is in between the quote marks here, so it's going to print that string to the screen. Then I'm going to put a comma. And now I want the next thing that I want to print. So I'm going to uh, actually print the value from the distance sensor. So distance dot get underscore distance in millimeters um, let's get rid of this for the time being and then we can just put another comment in Okay, let's uh, run that. So, um, distance equals is that string there, and then it's next printing a um, a bit of data from the sensor on the same line. Um, so now let's use that in a practical application. What I'm going to do is create um, a loop. So this is similar to what I did in the uh, in the loops tutorial. I'm going to say uh, while distance dot get underscore distance in millimeters is greater than 400. Then uh, let's clear the display. So let's bring this up here make sure it's indented correctly and print that value to the screen. Now the other thing we're going to want to do is make the robot drive forward. So right at the start here I'm going to say uh, drive train dot drive forwards and then after the loop drive train dot stop. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go around this um, loop here, this while loop, and we're going to continually um, print to the screen uh, the value of the distance sensor. I'm going to continually update that. So uh, let's just space that out so you can see. So this part is the loop here, and then once the loop is finished, then we will stop the robot from driving. So here you can see we've got that warning again. Now if you remember. I said before um, in the uh, loops tutorial that you need to remember to put a very short wait inside loops that are constantly repeating. Um, it's really, really important to, um, to yield the processor a bit. So Vexcode VR will give you a warning if you've not done that. And what we will do is now add that in. So it needs to be inside the loop because we need a short pause each time. So I'm going to put a little comment. And let's do five milliseconds. 
now run that again and now you can see here the distance value being updated until we get within the 400 millimeters um, and uh, and then the robot stops now you can see actually that uh, it's at, it's slightly outside the 400 millimeters what we're displaying um, and that will be due to the fact that um, the the loop exited and then we probably got um, the loop exited when it got to 400 there and that's just basically the the time uh, that it took um, since it last read a value because we've exited at 400 and the last time it went around that loop the value would have been 405 we kind of mitigate that by Afterwards, we could, um, once we exit the loop, we could clear the display and print one more time to the screen then. So then that will be at the point that the stop command was issued. So um, if we reset that and try again, see the value is decreasing as we're getting closer. And now we're on. Um, on 400 because that's what happened when we exited the loop. Um, okay, one more thing I want to add to that is we could add um, some color in as well. So let's say um, we add an if statement inside the loop. Uh, I'll put comment in here as well. So we'll say if too close display red otherwise green so what's going to happen is we'll say if um, if the uh, distance sensor in millimeters is less than say 800 then uh, we need to set the pen color to red. So set underscore print underscore color red. Else we'll set it to green. And then we're going to print it. So now let's reset that. Um, so we're in a safe distance. And when we get within 800, it'll go red. And then it'll still stop when we get to the 400. So you can use that um, output to give you some really useful stuff. It's great for um, just adding a bit of uh, a visual sort of look and feel to your, um, to your program and seeing some of the data. But more importantly than that, it's very, very useful for debugging, making sure that you are getting the information that you think you're getting, that your variables contain the value that you think they contain, or the sensor is giving you the value that you think it is giving you. Um, so it's a really, really useful tool for using in your programs.